Welcome back my little cat travelers to another Eden update. So the update just dropped out, update 2.10.100. Just uh, we got the announcement a couple of hours ago guys. So as you guys probably know, the update is going to be a little bit late because people at Google slash Apple took, a, took their time to releasing and to, uh, you know, accepting uh, that update. It's, it's a game thing guys, it happens. Sometimes that stuff gets delayed. Can't really blame them. That being said, guys, we are getting the uh, the new the new episode probably in a couple of hours, which is super excited, guys. So yeah, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about it. We are getting the 3000 Realm Arc and the Sea of the Abyss, uh, an episode which Silver actually loves because there's a uh, her favorite character, half naked guy, uh, is in it. So uh, so yeah. That being said, guys, so we are getting two new characters. Um, one of them, a lot of people have been waiting for. Pizzica, um, I call her Pizza because it sounds Pizzica and Pizza is really similar. She seems to be a really powerful mermaid, guys, like insanely powerful. Um, I am saving about half of my Colonel Stone to actually get her. Um, and you know why? Because I will tell you her skill soon. We are also getting um, Sheila AS, who is going to be a Water Pierce Zone. So a really, really good character for free. So uh, that's that's really good. So yeah, we are getting that. So let me let me read first of all. Or let me read uh, Sheila. I'm gonna read her skill here. Um, why can I do this? I am the Otohime, aren't I? From the Otohime she descend, the seven sea she defend. Sheila. Uh, Sheila, another style will be unlocked in chapter one of the episode, the three thousand realm arc of the sea in the abyss. So yeah, so free character guys. Um, I'm gonna read you guys her skill a little bit. So she's a uh, Pierce Water. So her first skill is called Arrow Call, which is a water type attack on a single enemy, small, pretty decent, f uh, flying hand, piercing attack of all enemies, small. So you got another skill called Stunning Trust, which is a piercing attack on a single enemy, small, which stunt. She also has a skill named Harpoon, piercing attack of all enemy, M, and water attack resistance, minus 20%, pretty good. Current formation, water type piercing attack of all enemy, M, and power of all party members, plus 20%. Uh, Veil vale Gore, water type piercing attack with single enemy times two extra large. And we got one of our first base skill, a Swanamon Duck, kind of funny name. Preemptive Strike, water type piercing attack of all enemy times two extra large. And power of all enemy minus 25%. Also gives you a Peach Coral and user. At four stack, all stack is consumed. She 100% damage of all of max HP, 100% per stack my, uh, times four multiplier. When in any sense, intelligence of all enemy, enemy minus 25%. And also, Peach Girl will do MP cuts by 5. So, I would suggest, guys, you give that character a bunch of HP. So you can actually do that skill to hit like a truck. Last skill, guys, is called Dragon Palance Dance. Physical resistance of all party members plus 30%. And top resistance of all party members plus 30% for 5 turn. Regen, 1000 HP, 5 time. When in any sense, Lance and Bow equip characters damage plus 50%, which is Pierce. So it's pretty good, it's pretty good character guys, um, I'm not gonna lie, uh, pretty good. So, that being said, let me read the other characters and then I'm gonna go over the episode. I am excited guys about this one, this one is amazing. Pizzica, Aldo, if you're alone, hold my hand and let's get, let's go together. A princess of the frozen sea, her song smooth calm at ease. Pizzica. So, alright guys, she looks amazing, she's a bow ring user character guys. Um, honestly, like she has one of the a new ability in game called Song, which is a state of strengthening and inspire all party members uh, with power. So it's pretty good. Um, so let me let me go over her skill. Her first skill is called Prelude. Activate Song to return with effect plus sixty percent of of damage and healing to all party members multiplied by one point six. So yeah, yeah. We're getting, uh, we're getting that, so it's pretty good. Um, our second skill is called Duet Arrow. Fire type, pierce attack on a single enemy times two. Small and power minus 20%. Um, we got Burkacy, uh, top resistance of all party members minus 30%. Of, of all enemies minus 30%, 100% chance. And inflict pains and poison and sleep, 100% scent, not guaranteed. So, yeah. Oratorio, activate song three times with effect, minus 50% damage received of all party members, when in song at the end of turn, restore all party members HP 
by 30%, restore all party members plus 50 MP, and restore all status. This is insane. Alright, this is really good. Rec recit recitative. recitative. Fire type pressing attack on all enemy, large critical damage of all parties, plus 30%, and bow and lance equip characters plus 30% more damage. When in any stance, double effect of numbers and turn 60% for 6 chance. Yay! Once again, guys, I'm telling you, she's a powerhouse for Pierce characters. Intermezzo. Activate song 3 turns with effect. Minus 15% damage received of all party members. Plus 80% damage and healing from all party members multiplied by 1.8. When in song at the end of turn, restore all party members 10% HP. Freaking insane. This is really good. Rhapsody. Area. Activate song. Critical. Um, critical rate of all party members 100%, damage and healing of all party members 100%, when it, the song hand and freak breaks on all enemies. So, this, this, you do this at the beginning, and then you, you do this at the end of your bar, guys, and I'm telling you, this will break any bosses. So, I might actually be able to do the uh, void bosses with her, because I've not been lucky, i kind of been struggling. Um, I haven't taken the time, so. Anyway, Grand Final, activate song, minus 30% damage received of all party members, 100% damage and healing of all party members, multiply by 2. When in song, at the end of turn, restore all party members, HP plus 20%. So guys, as you guys can see, this character is insane buffer character, like, this is really, really good, like, she's, she, she's a must pick, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a video, guys, and I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna drop 8k on our characters. Hopefully I'm gonna get it. Um, also our character design is pretty cool. Mermaids, um, pretty nice. So going back, guys. Alright, so we are getting um we are getting the follow-up, the 3000 realm arc and the sea of the abyss side story. So story the evil brought about by the thousand years arc has come to an end. Peace has returned to the dragon palace, and the sea are calm and serene. But there's a faint and ominous sign just beyond where the offshore's winds blow. A huge shadow swell in the darkness of the demon sea of no return. In the northern sea, the merfolk live echoing a song that calls for disaster. The thin ice that peace, with, that peace was built upon is about to shatter. Lured by the compass of fate, the girl threw herself into the rough sea once again. Between the reversing wave, what watch from the abyss. So we are getting a water theme zone guys, which is cold, which, you know, kind of like reminding me of the water close to Canada where I live. So I'm, I'm happy for it. I'm really, really excited guys, because it's been like low key a long time since we got like an episode. So more, more uh, content to uh, get my teeth in. I'm always happy. Um, so yeah, so this is, this is happening. This is happening too. So we're also getting a fateful encounter, um, paid account, as you guys can see. Five characters are available for the Thent account. Melissa, which is pretty good. Gata Barrel, Melody, Tsubame, another style. Ilyu, Ismena, another style. Tiramisu, and Foreign, another style. All good characters. Um, if you don't have it, I, you know, low-key, if you guys want to drop some money, it is really good. Um, most of these characters in the list are really good. So, yeah. Um, the, the following will be the edges of the wording. So, they're changing the wording, which is pretty good. Pretty good. We also, um... I mean, Chrono Stone again, the package, same thing as before. And they're changing a little bit of the reward too. Achievement reward Chrono Stone bonus. During the following duration, we've increased the amount of achievement reward you receive when you start the episode, the 3000 Realm Arc of the Sea of the Abyss. From 10 to 100, which is nice. More Chrono Stone guys is always welcome. Um, achievement under sea will activate after the beginning event scene is finished. Increase the reward amount will be delivered to your inbox, which is pretty nice. Um, they're also increasing the amount of Atlantis Pearl, which I think I maxed out. If not, I'm going to do it um, to get that uh, Trident. I think I'm missing one Trident, but yeah, and they're fixing some bugs. So um, this seems to be an amazing update, guys. I will do it as soon as it drops, which is about in a couple of hours. Um, I'll be asleep, so I'm going to start it tomorrow, but I'm excited, guys. Um, so that's it for this update. Really, really bit a big update, guys, for, for another Eden 2.10.100. Um, so that's gonna be it for the update guys and the extent make sure that you follow me on YouTube I would really appreciate it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye